r slash r credit by redition. Like and subscribe. What was the dumbest rule your school enforced? In grade 8, we were banned from standing in circles at recess because of potential scandalous activity going on in the middle. We stood in squares instead. Be there and be square. We couldn't wear winter clothing, jackets, hats, gloves, in class because they were gang symbols. This was a small farm town in Wisconsin. Besides obviously having no gangs, it was freaking cold, even indoors, in the winter. But clearly wearing warm clothing, is something only gangs do, Mitten clan ain't nothing to freak with. I'm a cheerleader, and for school spirit week I wore the uniform they gave me. I got dress coded. That is the ultimate high school moment. In my freshman year of high school we had a terrible vandalism problem. The bathrooms would be broken in various ways almost constantly. In a stroke of pure genius, the staff decided that any bathroom that was vandalized would be closed for the week on first offense, the quarter for second, and permanently on the third offense. They took back the rule after closing every bathroom on day one. Holy she, recently at my high school someone stole a freaking urinal. I have no clue how someone manages to do that. School added thumbprint scanners at gates of school which counted as registration. Needless to say I would just walk to school scan my thumb and walk back home with them on the wiser. Was a great few months until they noticed. Took all the doors off the men's room bathroom stalls because of vandalism for two months. Same at my school, but for all four years. We had no toilet paper or mirrors either. Prom was a mandatory lockdown for the night, in order to avoid students going to parties after prom. Prom was held at various house parties across town instead. I hate it when schools shove their noses into everyone else's business. In 6th grade they switched out all student chairs for large rubber stability balls. There was a strict no bouncing rule. It was a disaster. Edit, this was in Arizona in the late 90s for those asking. The idea was to promote better posture. This wouldn't work with any age group, let alone 6th graders. Locked bathroom doors in the period after lunch, you should have gone at lunch. Also banged duct tape accessories back when that was a trend. They said it was gang activity. No backpacks to class, but purses were allowed. Girls started carrying around purses big enough to be considered a backpack. Guys got peed and started carrying purses too. I'd wear my backpack on my front and call it a front pack. You couldn't wear any kind of head items that were gang colors, red or blue. This included hair bands, scrunches, beads in your hair, ribbons, anything. I got in trouble for wearing a blue hair band with white polka dots. Don't joke about the polka dot cartel. My school banned backpacks at one point. To protest boys just didn't bring anything with them to class and girls brought really big purses. We had to wear belts. Someone snitched that people weren't wearing belts under their sweaters and they actually checked and a bunch of people got detentions. Stupid. We had belt raids at my school, where the dean would burst into classes, completely interrupting any education, to check that everyone was wearing a belt. We weren't allowed to play tag football at lunch, only frisbee. When I asked the principal what the difference was, he responded with a sarcastic tone, a football is round and a frisbee is a flat disc. He left the school later that year, went to another school, and a few years later was brought up on charges for failing to report the abuse of a student by a teacher. No jackets. They think we may hide things like phones or bombs there. My high school mascot was Daniel Boone holding a musket. A kid wore a Guns N' Roses shirt to school, and was told he had to change shirts, because of the pistols on the shirt. He pointed out the hypocrisy of the school mascot, and they changed everything. The mascot was switched to holding a flagpole instead. Every instance of the mascot was changed from the multiple signs outside and around the school to the giant picture in the middle of our basketball stadium. Holden, you're a freaking legend for this. Hey at least this shows a consistent internal logic and lack of hypocrisy on the part of school admin, although definitely a lack of self-awareness too. 
All the kids, 6th or 7th grade, started putting pink laces in their shoes. Don't know why, but the school officials banned colored laces saying pink is a gang color. It's Britney but shanks another student. They decided everything bad happened in the last 5 minutes of lunch, so it got 5 minutes shorter each year. Any group more than 5 had to be up to no good, so no groups over 5. Edit, this was not some big city, public school for troubled kids. It was a tiny catholic school in a tiny farming town. The worst offense, by a student, of the whole time I was there was some kid walking across the street, to get a soda from a store. Can't wear too many matching shirts, because you could be a gang. This was in regards to a kid with cancer wanting to make a bunch of shirts. My high school was in Buttfrick, Nebraska. American schools seem to be obsessed with the idea of gangs. If you were involved in a fight, you got suspended. While it sounds reasonable, context didn't matter. I got suspended once, not for throwing a single punch, kick, whatever. I got suspended because someone knocked the books out of my hand, and when I reached down to grab them, they punched me in the face. I got suspended for walking down the hallway and unprovoked getting punched in the face. Frick Brandon Valley Middle School. You got in trouble if you wore just a Hanes white t-shirt after school because you were in your underwear. Might as well just wear your literal underwear to make a statement. My high school band t-shirts that had the cover of Rush's album Signals, an album popular at the time, which features an image of a dog sniffing a fire hydrant. They considered it scatological because the dog was about to pee on it. This struck the entire student body as extremely stupid and roughly one half of the student body picked a day to wear the t-shirt. We won. Involved in a fight, same punishment regardless of fault and this led to more dangerous fights due to everyone just going for it. Saw people use chairs, cricket bats and anything just to hand. Getting expelled from the school was really hard as it was the last chance school in the area and after that it was the special reform school. They banned wristwatches. No one knows what the reason was. That's when you go full flavor flav and wear a timepiece around your neck instead. It's a gateway clock. Before you know it people will start bringing pocket watches, then wall clocks, then grandfather clocks, and before you know it some kid walks in with Big Ben. Then what do you do? My brother is addicted to Big Ben's. Rough man last year he spent all his money on gear wheels and batteries. We can't use black pens, like why? We were all given these ugly planners at the beginning of the school year, with a few pages at the back filled with hall passes. If you didn't have your planner, or if all your boxes were filled, you weren't allowed to go to the bathroom. And no, you couldn't buy a new planner. Or borrow one from your friend. The only excuse you had, was if you had a doctor's note, but no doctor is going to give a note for an upset stomach caused by the school lunch. Oh wow, I totally forgot about this, until you said this. We had those too. Some teachers gave extra credit to kids who never used any of their hall passes. I went to a school that had block scheduling, so our classes were 2 hours long, pretty messed up, that we were incentivized to never use the bathroom, now that I think back on that. They banged the word snap, since everyone used it instead of she, so we all just started saying she. The snap bang lasted about 3 days. The $200 blazer was compulsory, and we got detention every single day, until we got it. Shoes are to be worn as the manufacturer intended. I have no clue who was wearing their shoes incorrectly, or how, but this line, verbatim, was repeated to us over the morning announcements when there were perceived infractions at various points throughout the year. No fist bumps. Their reason for this is, that kids might accidentally punch the other person in the face. Edit, the school I went to was in a pretty rough area so there were a lot of incidents where kids ended up getting into fights. A girl and a boy couldn't sit together. The school employed disciplinarians to roam around the school and monitor this activity. If found, you will get a reprimand. If found repeating the offense, you get sent to the principal office and of continuing, then eventually escalated to the parents etc. Lol, my parents would have just laughed if my school called to tell them I sat next to a girl. 
middle school had banned salt and pepper from being used in the cafeteria, claimed it was too unhealthy. Still sold Mountain Dew in the vending machines. School I used to teach at had similar rules. Some bullshit about federal nutrition standards or something. We'd just keep them in the teacher's lounge along with hot sauces and chamoy and a few other condiments and leave them on our desks. Our school banned water bottles for some reason an extreme health slash water drinking fad started among our girls and they began bringing larger and larger water bottles to school. Eventually the girls were all walking around with giant 5 liter jugs of water all over the school. It did kinda look ridiculous and my school was posh and image conscious with very elegant uniforms. So then one day the principal banned all water bottles and said that the girls must drink water from the taps in the bathrooms and the other faucets all over the school grounds. Our city has very clean tap water, so it is safe. Suspension as a punishment for skipping school. Don't want to come to school? Well now you can't, until next week, edit, and no tank tops in a desert climate. Because shoulders are too sexy for school. Our school banned hugging, because it was erotic. As you can imagine, the boys at school started giving each other very sensual high fives for the rest of the year. I picture them moaning loudly, while their hands were slowly gliding against the other for several seconds. Attended all girls high school. You had to bring a male date to dances or not attend at all. No going solo, or with your girlfriends. So backwards. They banned hats, because hats can be used to signify gang colors. The only major crime group in our area was the Hells Angels and they certainly weren't having people wear hats for children to signify their allegiance. It was so bad a few years, after I graduated I came back to volunteer as a chaperone for a school trip as a favor for my favorite teacher. The principal saw me wearing a beanie from across school he literally sprinted half a mile to chase me down and tell me to take off the hat. When I told him I wasn't a student and didn't have to follow the dress code he said either take off the hat, leave or he'd call the cops. It wasn't the actual day of the trip, just had to show up to get the itinerary and stuff, so I just said, frick you, I'm out. Idiots. My high school had half the bathrooms closed off at all times because they feared the students would smoke. We weren't allowed to have cough drops in our elementary because the school considered them drugs. Girls must wear skirts even in the cold back rain. One way hallways. Like just let me get to my class who gives a she. I love telling this one. We had percentage grades, and if you earned 100% in a class for the semester you would be dinged down to 99%, because only God is perfect. As far as I know this was not an official rule, and I only know of it happening one time, to the girl who eventually became our valedictorian, but that was the reasoning she was given. It was a Catholic girls high school and there were a lot of other weird, strictly enforced rules, especially around the uniform, but the only God is perfect rule will always take the cake for me. I went to school in the UK, if you were too warm, and wanted to take off your blazer, tough she. To take off your blazer everyone in a classroom to take it off, so you all looked the same, if someone was opposed to taking it off you all had to keep it on. Sitting next to the radiator was a pain in the A. During the summer months we'd have designated non-blazer days. These were days when the school was probably scared of accidentally killing students by forcing them to wear their blazers. No fitted clothes for girls. This was high school. If the swell of your breast saw but were visible due to tight fabric you had to go home. This wasn't a religious school. This was just a school run by dumb pieces of she. Pokemon cards got banned in middle school because someone stole the vice principal's kids cards. Yep. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for daily reddit videos.